is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Shimmer's Paints, where I am going to be using the wonderful March Color Kit Collection. And for the first time ever, they are bringing out papers along with their kit. Now, I know that this is towards the middle to the end of March. However, I am super excited, so I got a little ahead of myself before I filmed this. I was like, ooh, I want to do this, this, and this. So this page was together as a 12 by 12. So that's the back side of it. But I am going to color this as one of my background pieces with the color with the colors kit, and I'll show you that. Then this was attached to this as a 12 by 12, and this was like a side by side, and I wanted to cut this and use this. So like I said, I got a little ahead of myself. And then I was like, ooh, I want to do this and then this was together like so, and then I made a boo-boo and cut this. So that's what the back side of this looks like. It actually, yeah, it was like this, but I want to use this side for it. So it is a little bit shiny, so I'm going to see how well this um, paints, and I'm going to show you guys how to be able to work that. Now, wherever they are able to like paint, it is a, not a shiny base. So like this is shiny, but this is a flat tone. So I know I can be able to color that. Now, this here is a flat base, but then when I grab this one, this is more of a shiny base, as you can tell. You can tell that it is. Where you wouldn't be able to color that as easily. But I'm gonna show you how. This is my photo that I'm going to use. They also got some Felicity Jane ones that go with this. They also have a kit that I just got for April, and the papers in there are amazing. So when you get the color kit, now you're going to get this. You can get just a color kit, or you can do it as a bundle um, in that sense. And so these here are cutout pieces along with this. And see, you can tell it's kind of shiny. Now this one is not as shiny. The little pieces are where you can be able to do mixed media on there. Same with this one, but now this one's got that shiny coating on it, but the backside does not. Um, then also I've got this sheet. Then we've got this sheet, and see, look at that shine on the back of that page. And then we've got this sheet. So, that's the papers. Now, the actual kit that we've got is we've got two uh, vibes which is an ocean water which you can tell that glorious color that's in there you can tell that colorings which is a shade of gray then I've got creamies which is paradise punch then I've got inklings which is loose lips pink ships then I've got inklings sheer bliss and the new color the new color is the Loose Lips. All of these are in the shop already except for Loose Lips Pink Ships. That is a new color. All of the other ones in there you can purchase. All of that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and see what I can do. I am going to figure out what I want to do first on like the coloring part of it and how I'm going to set this up. And then I'll come back in like real time to show you how I'm gonna color these pages. They are thick enough to where you can put down gesso, like clear gesso and do some mixed medium over the top. I wanted to kind of branch out and do something a little bit different. I have not colored and I wanna color with these, with these two and I'm gonna color these out um, with that and then because my color tones is a blue so this will match well with this I did one of those new photo picks on one of my photos that we so I'm gonna cut this down um, probably into a three by three so that's not on there but I absolutely love this photo of my husband and I so let's get started Okay, so the two pink, the two pinkish purplish type colors that I got out is the Paradise Punch and then the Loose Lips um, Pink Ships. 
are the two main colors that I use right here. And what I am doing is, is that I am painting it. Now the black that is on the paper, at least for this particular one, for me to be able to color in the florals that I am to add those color tones and to make this black and white, it's like if you're using um, intense black through Calls to My Heart or um, what's the other black I use? Archival ink. It's those um, those types of color or like those types of inks. If you would stamp them, it's like it but um, bubbles and it doesn't emet mix with the black. That's what's going on here. And that's the same thing when I pull in the green tones when I bring that in as well later on in the video. Now, I did cut some of this out because this video would have been 50 minutes me trying to break it down and I'm already at 14 minutes trying to do everything. So, um, I kind of feel like you guys know how to color, you know, but I wanted to show you guys how this works. And I am now taking the green, which is the ocean waters, the vibes, and those are the colors that I use. The ones that I don't use is a shade of gray from the colorings in the Nashir Bliss. But I'm coloring in, I make some of them darker than the others. I um, color in, some of them I let it go like until the color runs out. And I just kind of play around with it. It now brightened up this page to where it's literally a background page. So then I do this up and I get this done and I do my black outlining and then I go to the next one. Now the next one I was like what can I do to add mixed media to that one so that one it sticks out and then I decided okay I'm going to sit and figure out through my stamp set and then I happen to find this one that's got some wording to be really honest I don't know what Vicki Booten did with it because it is Vicki Booten stencil. Um, I don't know what she wrote on it and I really don't care what's written on it because you really can't see that portion of it. I'm more looking at that this will stick out behind my floral cluster that I cut, fussy cut, off of one of the papers. And as you can tell here, I am just placing it down and then I go again and I am still using the ocean the ocean water vibes right here and then what I do is is that I take the cut file and I make a bunch of just messy blotchy stuff on it so then I place that down on that other side and then I take this little piece and I put it in the middle now I place it down and now I've got all of my mixed media in there. I do bring in a gold color towards the end that is not part of the color kit, but it is a shimmers paints because I wanted I wanted a little bit of a, a goldish tone coming out of this. Just because there's the goldish color behind on my photo. So I am going to back up this cut file on, or not this cut file, this um, fussy cut. It looks like a cut file, right? This fussy cut piece, just so that it's sticking up out of the, um, up just a little bit. And the photo gets, the photo gets it as well. The photo gets um, popped up on some foam tape too. Make sure that you go check out the Shimmers Paints website. As of right now, when I have done this voiceover and uploaded it up there, the color kit with the paint and paper collection is still available, along with um, getting all of the cut files, this, that, and the other. But then you can also get just a coloring kit. So if you like what I've done here with just the coloring kit, you can get just that. Or they've got it to where you can just get the paper kit. So you could definitely got some options for her, for this um, collection. I really love how this turned out. I do have to say that I like how thick their paper is. The one thing about mixed media paper, and this is just generally speaking, so that you guys kind of understand, a lot of times mixed media paper is so thick that you have to like place the paint, a lot of paint on it, or it's not thick enough where you got to place gesso. Their paper pack is right where it should be. I did not have any 
issues at all putting the paint without any gesso on it. This paper here is thick enough to where I could do what I needed to do, including the texture paste that you saw me use, and there was absolutely no like bending, none of that. Like th th there was nothing to where I could say I would had to have done a gesso, or I'm trying to figure out how in the world it's gonna stay on my paper. As of right now, as I'm still looking at it, and I'm looking at my paper and my layout right now, nothing's coming up, and it's perfect. These black and white, or these black star, um, florals and butterflies in these little bit of hearts that I'm using are from a older um, Close to My Heart collection. I wanted to add a little bit more black because my title Ooh, excuse me, so sorry. My title is Happy and in Love is my title from the Felicity, Felicity Jane. And I had to pull in the IN from another collection. It's from American Crafts, just so that I can make sure that it adds um, that pizzazz. That's what that's for. Make sure that you put my name in the comments and you'll get a freebie as well. And then also make sure you'll look at the still shots. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you. We upload quite a bit. Um, we're always looking to have new subscribers, so we would love to have you on our channel as well. And then make sure that you put down my comment, Miranda, my name in the comments section of the order, and then you'll get a freebie as well. Here is where I come in with the glorious days. I just wanted to pull in that goldish color because it's in my photo. I just wanted something a little bit more distinct. The still shots are coming up. I hope you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.